Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can see, time for another healthy recipe. Without further ado, let's start. What we're going to be making today is um, this fish with lentils. Fish with lentils, yeah. <laughs> so what you need is uh, kabul yao. I don't know what the name is of kabul yao. Cow fish? No. You'll see it. You see it in the description box below. So you're going to be needing at least two pieces big pieces of uh, fish filet, actually whatever kind you like of fish filet. We're gonna be needing these cherry tomatoes, about between 250 and 300 uh, grams of cherry tomatoes. We're gonna be needing some uh, carrots. We're gonna be needing lentils, as I said, these are uh, not from a can, these I made myself, so you soak them the night before, and then you just cook them, boil them until they become soft. Um, again, the the amount and the whole thing you'll be finding in the description box below. Uh, we're gonna be needing one onion. What else? Uh, garlic, but we don't do garlic, so just a pinch of this. Garlic powder will be enough. You're gonna be needing one chili pepper, uh, a little bit of lemon. What else? What else do I have here? Fresh uh, ginger. Just a little bit, we're gonna be using a little bit of this, not too much. Uh, what else? We're gonna be ne needing some coconut milk. Uh, and then uh, some uh, fresh basilicum. I think it's basil in English, I'm not really sure. Again, you will find it all in the description box below. When it comes to spices, we're gonna be needing a little bit of cumin powder. We're gonna be needing a little bit of cardamom, a little bit of curry powder, a uh, curry powder, a little bit of coriander powder, but I don't have uh, powder, I have seeds, so I will be crushing them in this and, uh, you know, and make my own coriander powder. So a little bit of that, and then of course, as always, a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of, a little bit of salt. Yeah, okay, so that's this. As always, very basic ingredients. Um, let's see what we can do. So, as a start, this is what we need. So, in a minute, I will be getting, uh, grabbing my skillet, one tablespoon of olive oil or coconut oil, whatever you have, olive oil or coconut. Then, we're going to be first frying these ingredients together. So, we have here the cherry tomatoes, the onion, the chili pepper, the carrots, um, the um, ginger, and then a little bit of uh, garlic powder for me. If you have a clove of garlic powder, then that's what you're gonna do. When it comes to carrots, I'm uh, gonna wash them and then cut them in little dice, little pieces. Uh, so that's that's what we need for now. I come back to you um, in a second. Let me just do that. So like I said, one table to two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna fry the onion first and the chili pepper. Fry them a little bit together and then we're gonna uh, grind a little bit of fresh ginger in there, just a little bit. So I just grinded a little bit of ginger in there and I added a little bit of the garlic powder. And again, if you have garlic clove, then just cut it in little pieces and throw it in here too. So fry these together until they become a little bit soft. Mix them really well. And the chili powder really need the chili peppers really need to get a little bit soft, otherwise they might be too spicy. So we need to weaken them a little bit. So once the onion starts to get these nice brown uh, corner, add the tomatoes and the carrots. And as always, mix them really well. And just turn the heat really low, between low and medium. And just fry them a little bit together until they become soft to your liking. So after five minutes or so, five, six, seven minutes, we're gonna add a pinch of all these spices. So we have the cardamom, the cumin, 
the curry, the salt, and the black pepper. And the coriander smells divine, you guys. So all of that in there and mix well. All right, so there are all the spices. Now let's mix them together. It's such a shame, you guys, that I can't um, film while the music is playing on the background because Mike is always my DJ when I'm um, making dinner. And now he's playing all those kind of cute, old-fashioned Christmas songs that we cannot have in the video less. So anyway, there it is. Just let them simmer a little bit together. All right, so next we're gonna add the coconut milk. And let the whole thing simmer together again for a little more. When I say simmer, in this case, in this video, I'm talking about a couple of minutes in between. So I'm sorry, I meant to say when we add the coconut milk, let it boil first, then simmer a little bit. So bring it to the boil first, like this. Then let it simmer. If you don't like, if you do not like uh, uh, carrots in your food that's still a little bit solid, maybe you can boil them first to soften them up. So guys, once it starts to boil, let it simmer, in this case, for as long as uh, it takes for the carrots to soften up a little bit, become a little bit soft, for those of you that don't like hard carrot pieces in their food. The other, uh, another thing that helps is to put the lid on it. So you create this steam that will be going on, circling around, and that also helps to uh, soften the food a little bit quicker. So I'm just gonna let it simmer for about five minutes. And then we're gonna add the fish fillet and the lentils. And then let it simmer a little bit more and then it's done. So once you've tasted that the vegetables are soft to your liking, you can go ahead and add the fish fillet together with the basilicum that you chopped. You can add the fish fillet like this, or you can add it as a whole. And just, if you wanna add it as a whole, because the presentation that way for you is better, you can just add them together in your skillet and then let them, let them cook for a little bit until they're done. I don't know how long, it depends on what kind of fish you have. Just let them turn up the heat a little bit. And then finally we're going to add the lentils. All right. So once you see that the fish is white all around, doesn't have to fall apart, you can add your lentils and then mix them just gently because you do not want to puree the fish fillet. <laughs> just before I started filming, I'm hearing kids outside singing St. Nicholas songs. You guys have seen the video here when St. Nicholas arrived in Holland. So if you missed it, go back and you'll understand what I'm saying right now. So anyway, there it is. Again, you can um, cut the the fish fillet in little pieces or you can leave it as a whole. If you do it as a whole, then best thing is to serve this on a plate instead of a, a bowl. Only thing you rest now is squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on top of there and you're good to go. A very healthy recipe, almost no calorie. Anyway, uh, for me, Mike, and the cats thank you so much for watching happy holidays uh whatever you're celebrating of course and um don't forget to subscribe comment share and all that you guys know the drill see you in another video have a good day